these are pterosaurs, and they are not dinosaurs, they're cousins of the dinosaurs, and they took flight millions of years before birds, and they're the largest flying animals ever to exist, and the largest group 12 meters across in, in wingspan. Pterosaurs were up to the size of a small aircraft. Uh, a, a pterosaur like Quetzalcoatlus or Aramborgiania would have gotten up to 10 or 12 meters across the size of a supermarine Spitfire. So pterosaurs are incredibly rare because their bones are so delicate. They're highly specialized for flight. There's an almost eggshell thin layer of bone and then this thin hollow space inside that was filled by air in a living animal. And this makes them extraordinarily lightweight. They could grow to enormous sizes and still be able to fly because the entire skeleton is air filled. But it also means they're incredibly delicate and we almost never get these things as fossils. There's been a debate whether pterosaurs went extinct slowly and they were declining uh, towards the end of the Cretaceous period or whether they went out uh, basically with a bang and they were highly diverse then wiped out by the asteroid impact at the end of the Cretaceous, the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. And what these tell us is that pterosaurs were thriving in the final moments of the Cretaceous. We have from these deposits in Africa seven different species and three different families. They were doing very, very well until they were basically cut down in their prime by the asteroid.